Welcome to Montenegro. <laughs> That's the best airport view I've ever seen. We've made it through customs. We've made it through our COVID checkpoint. We are now gonna walk to the train station. It is the cheapest and probably one of the faster ways to get into town. Should cost us less than $2 for the train and the train is very quick. But I think we have a little bit of a walk to get to the station. The good part is, is if we fail, the taxi is only about 10 or 12 euros from what I know of. And that is the cheapest taxi from an airport that I've ever seen. Montenegro is not our ultimate destination. We are gonna go to Albania after a couple of days. The reason we flew into Montenegro is because it was by far cheapest option. Yes, we literally have to walk to the train station. It is not at the airport or anywhere near the airport. It's gonna be about 15 minutes. That's okay, it's saving us about $10. I wanna reiterate, we are surrounded by mountains right now. We tried to film it a little bit when we got off the plane, but seriously, we're in a bowl. I don't even know if I'm capturing this in the slightest, but there are snow-capped, beautiful mountains surrounding us. What an entrance, Montenegro. Even though we've only been here like five minutes and we're on the side of the road and we don't know where we're going, we're having a great time. We're on, a, we're on an adventure. And if all else fails, we've already had about five taxis asking us if we want to ride. So what do we have to lose? Just rolled right over. You're the sweetest. Good boy. Good girl. Scratch my belly. So far, Podgorica's a, a win for me. Okay. All right. All right, we got a train to catch. Do you recall all of those kind of sketchy looking uh, train stations in Romania? Yeah. I think that's going to be one of the ones we're finally taking. Just observing our surroundings at the moment. This is the capital of Montenegro, this city. And the train station that's closest to the airport is probably not what you'd think it would be. But look at them there, mountains. Yeah. The walk from the airport to the Aerodrome train station, which is what we'll take to get into the city, it's about three quarters of a mile and should take like 18 minutes. No. What do you want? Walk across. Which way are we going? Honey, that's our train station. No, it's not. I mean, my phone says we're here. Are you it kidding? says Aerodrome. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? This is, this is it. No. Who wants to spend 10 euro on a taxi and miss out on all the fun of a train station like this? Not me. I think it'll be a very long time before we top a train station quite like this one. I talked a moment ago about passing train stations similar to this in Romania. No. No. Even the ones in Romania were larger and more up-to-date than this one. There's like a 50-50 shot here that there's never going to be a train. <laughs> yeah. Like how long are we going to stand out here before we go hail a taxi? If there's a scheduled train that's supposed to be here and it's not here within about 10 minutes, we'll go get a taxi. Okay. I think that's fair. All right. We also don't have any cash, so I hope to take cart. We have euro. That's it. They take euro. Okay. They take euro. I don't even know what the currency is in this country. Not a clue. You know? Euro! It's Euro here? Yes! Oh. That's why the entire airport was Euro. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? I thought I tried explaining that earlier. <laughs> Try to do a little bit more research before entering a country blind. Just a, just a little bit. We just had a taxi driver stop and talk to us, letting us know that this train station is closed due to COVID. I don't want to believe him just because why would some stations be open and not others uh, and it could just be his tactic of getting people like us in his car. It makes sense. So we're going to wait for the scheduled train time. If it doesn't come, then we have no problem walking to this main road right here and hailing another taxi. The train timetable says that it'll be here in about 30 minutes. Our uh, taxi friend has returned and is parked outside probably waiting to see what we're gonna do and I really don't mind waiting to at least see if the train comes in about five minutes. Army also doesn't think his taxi looks very official so no I think I wouldn't have a problem walking away and finding another one no matter what. Yeah there's a main road right there with tons of taxis. Tons. Our man's still waiting but so are we. 
train was supposed to arrive two minutes ago. Most reviews say it's a little slow or delayed, so I think we will wait about five more minutes and then we're gonna try to ditch this guy <laughs> in the nicest way possible. <laughs> I'm sorry? Why you have I can't understand. You his name to call, uh, to apartments. To apart uh... Yes, apartments. Oh, oh, um, we have an Airbnb. Airbnb and uh, Stara Varos, yeah? Drac. Uh, I don't know. Address, address. I, I have the address. Yeah. Um, we were just gonna wait a few more minutes and then I have the Airbnb host. He can come get us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm driving to direct to address to 10 euro, direct address. No, thank you. I appreciate it. No. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, he left again. I guarantee he'll probably be back in a few minutes. But if he does, I don't think we'll be here. We're gonna wait just a tad bit longer when we're gonna go find a different taxi. Taxi driver is right here waiting for us. But here's the train. Don't ever accept a ride from the first person who asks. Yay! Gracias, or thank you. We got on the train. Patience paid off. That guy, I'm very proud of us right now. It was a euro 20 per person to get into town. It should only take like 10 minutes. We're getting off at the very first stop in town. But now we just had to have to walk and take the main road up, so. Definitely windier here and colder. We, uh, go that way. Just following my wife through the mud to get to somebody's house. I'll be fully honest though, when we started traveling abroad, these are the exact types of adventures that I'd hoped we have. Not disappointed in the slightest. This is awesome so far, I guess. I feel like we're at least hitting civilization now. I feel actually a lot better. For the first 10 minutes of us walking, I was thinking, where are we gonna eat? What are we gonna do? Let's see if this works. Yeah, we're on the right side. I didn't expect that. Elevators are on an adventure. Not bad. This one's nice and down. Six. To get to that top. Place. We're staying in the center of Podgorica, Montenegro, and this place is $19 a night. We actually got a full tub and our very own bedroom. Gotta check out the view. Montenegro has some of the most beautiful mountains I've seen. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my Atlanta! Yeah! Wow. This is a $19 view. That's amazing. That is incredible. How is this place not more popular? Well, Nathan. we saw the rest of it so far. I was gonna say, <laughs> we have not seen the entire city, so we can't speak for the entire city, but these are our first impressions. the end of the day. It's four o'clock and it is already pretty much already dark. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys on Monday when we take a bus from Podgorica to Tirana, Albania. So you just walked into the kitchen. Every place we've been to so far smells like someone's grandma's house. Normally we don't film our dinners after a full day of travel which is why we mostly only have pictures but we thought this story was worth telling.
We ordered a beer easy enough, but when we tried to order food, we quickly realized that Montenegrin is one of the few languages not supported on Google Translate. I ordered savape, which are mixed meat sausages, and it came with french fries and a salad. They were really good. Amber, on the other hand, ordered what we thought was some kind of grilled beef. What came to the table was beef, but it turns out it wasn't the part of the cow that we thought it was. Instead, it was veal liver. We truly tried to finish it all, but it just was not our favorite. I guess we still have a lot to learn. Either way, it was a dinner that we will not soon forget.